And we start off by grasping it on the suture. It's one of the hardest things for keyhole surgeons to learn, sewing up the patient afterwards. The experts make it look easy, but even with training, not everyone gets the hang of it. There are some surgeons who can do this brilliantly and beautifully, and some who will really struggle. I'd like you to have a go at, at suturing now. If you get this right first time, you have a job at Edinburgh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. The hardest thing is that lack of depth perception. You've got to try and pick up the tip of that needle with your left instrument. It just keeps slipping off. That's the problem. It's a pretty good attempt, Richard. I mean, that is incredibly difficult. So tough for humans, but will a robot make it easier? This is Versius. Invented in Cambridge, it's designed to help keyhole surgeons with their intricate work. So I'm activating my um, controls. Uh, I now have control over the um, instruments. And you can see how I can turn that needle and I can grasp it exactly where I want it. And you saw the difficulty we had with the straight stick apparatus, the normal conventional um, needle holders. Keyhole surgery is complex, but it has big benefits. You only make a tiny incision, which means fewer infections, fewer painkillers and less time in hospital. The robot should make the training much quicker. I think it's about a fifth of the time. Um, and at the end of it, you, you also get a greater accuracy with it. You get um, a greater precision. A lot of people will be nervous about the idea of a robot operating on them. But this doesn't seem to be working on its own. It's not, a, not at all. This is a robotic system designed to facilitate surgery. But all the other aspects, the decision making, the um, where one does the incisions, the cuts, and the procedure itself is done by a fully trained surgeon. Now that's active. And if you move your hand back and forth, you see you have yeah. control. Put your left one into the loop. Uh, yeah. There. And now bring your right arm back. Go forward and round it, round the front. Oh, nearly, nearly. Medical robots are big business. Google's working on machines that are connected to the internet so they can learn from each other. So ten minutes in, I mean, you wouldn't let me loose on a patient, but I can tie knots. It's, it's, it's relatively straightforward. You've tied and locked a knot, which you were unable to do before with the, uh, the normal minimal access equipment. Um, and you've not even been through the full instruction course. Versius should be operating on patients for the first time next year, although not with me at the controls. I mean, it's not the neatest job in the world, but for a first go, having it's never a, done it. It's a pretty good go for a first go. Richard Westcott, BBC Look East, Cambridge.